two, yeah. one. How's hey, it going, everyone? Just just it. Oh, I'm on hiatus. Today, we're going to be like seeing Jeebos. how bad everything is are. I love that. That sounded better in my head, guys. That was, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just do separate introductions. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, some of you might know me. Some of you probably don't. But my name is Buccaneer Railfanning. I'm the biggest CSX LNN foamer in the history not. of foamers. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Cali Productions here. Yes, I'm still on a hiatus. But great to be here again with all these great people here. Hi. I'm great. Dang. Hello, I'm History of Runner Productions. I'm the biggest Union Pacific foamware in the land of taters. We are not like the greatest keys. rolling railroad or whatever. I don't know the Union Pacific. Holy guys, like look at this big boy we have. <laughs> I didn't get to see it. Hello everyone, Awkward I'm Pensy Fan19. I rail fan a bunch of different railroads, even though my username or even though my profile picture has a pe modified Pensy logo and my username is spelled wrong. And then we're we're missing uh, Southern Plains Rail fan, but I, I maybe he'll show up picks. later. He'll, he'll chime in. He'll he'll deliver a yeah. nice, smooth, silky Milwaukee road. Winnipeg, it's your time. Oh yeah, right. Hey, I'm He's the dead. Winnipeg. All right. And <laughs> this is heritage shell, units. It's Today we're gonna to be end. ranking all of the heritage units, all the ones that I f remembered, because I'm sure there's ones I forgot. If there if there is, leave them in the comments. Let's go. Walk. All right, let's let's get started. <laughs> First up, we got Alaska. I don't know what this is. Alaska Railroad something. I'm gonna it's say they the I, same, I, I, the same I, I, category right. as an Amtrak heritage unit, in which technically the railroad has been around for a while, but it's a heritage unit of a previous livery. So that's something you don't see too often with a lot of heritage units. So I'm gonna say based. Yeah, it's not bad, I, and I like the Alaska okay, Railroad. Let's go with so all right based. I don't think much of Alaska, yeah. but I do think they're a pretty neat railroad, so I think it's a good one. It's all the right. Chicago and Northwestern Railroad. Yeah, I think yeah, it's all yeah. right. UP's all Buccaneers, over. Buccaneers, like, uh, Southern Plains, too. UP definitely yeah. has a <laughs> u creative way of making their own heritage units, and I honestly like them. So I could say it's another good one, but what? A, who else has... Uh, I like the way UP did their heritage units. I'm pretty sure they were the first ones to come out with the heritage units, or kind of do the, like do a fleet of them oh. like a really big well-known fleet i like how they yeah. took inspiration from the styles but also added a little bit of personal touches to it but i personally for me i'd put it on i put it on base i like it yeah it's I'm, going pretty cool, I think. I'm going between base or all right since cnw is kind of underrated that and the cnw unit also appeared in the cnw twins video from cal unit productions which hey. oh, yeah. i feel from yeah. the greatest yeah, yeah. Uh, locomotive documentary video was ever made. You. So I watched it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. I'm still face. surprised people say, that. claim that they were crying about crying when I watched it. Yeah, I, I was, was tearing up like twin. All right, yeah. next up we have the Monon. My unit. time. It is the Monon. Uh, Personally, for me, uh, I actually did get to see the Monon. It was sitting in Louisville Yard, very shiny. People do not like these things. And let me Fox. let me go ahead and say this right now before anything. These are better than what we had previously. Uh, sticker units. Looking at you, BNSF. Thank you. Uh, yeah, really. I'd put it in all right. There are better ones out there, but I personally really? put it in all right. I think it's okay. Yeah. It's pretty good. Who is that, RFMP? Yeah, it's RFMP. Probably. The RFMP is the right one. RFMP. I could say the best one alongside the BNO. And yeah, we have to do we have to do based. Yeah, definitely. RFMP it's based. is pretty cool. I like, RFMP is a base railroad. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Insane. Exactly. Pretty much. Savannah and Lana, I think. Yeah. It's I like this one. I want to say it's alright, it. but I do feel it's kind of cool that they are representing technically a, from what I can tell, a subdivision of the Southern because it integrates the Southern Tuxedo livery, even though mm -hmm. Norfolk Southern put the Crescent livery on their official Southern unit. But they were still oh. highlighting an equally popular Southern livery at the time. So I'm going to say at least alright. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, alright or high. I think I it's alright. And don't yeah, forget... Whenever you see this thing, convince the next semi truck driver to park in front of you. Yes, yep. this is, yes. uh, oh, what is this? Uh, I think not based on a previous Rondo. livery D tier. Where's the Amtrak guy? Yeah. Where's Jared? Yeah, well, exactly. Get him in here. Shout out to Amtrak guy 365. He has, like, a cat. This is definitely. He made a certain series about some random railroad that people used to watch. 
I'm I don't just kidding. I love you, Amtrak guy. Well, I don't remember this one as much. The scheme's okay, but I could just say mid to Dookie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got this one. The CP uh, script letter. All right. Unit. I you it it's, it's an ACU and it's a <laughs> yeah, great heritage so delivery. S tier. Put it on the top. Come, I yeah. agree. As yeah. someone that's seen this, these, exactly. they so, deserve to stay on S tier. Yeah. So, and then the thing is, this locomotive got crushed or died by a train wreck. I forgot which one it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the Bro, I got photo of it. Um, no less. Um, you want a photo with your mangs? I got I'm one. I'm gonna say <laughs> this. I'm kind of wondering if, like, given the fact we now have the CPKCS merger, Canadian Pacific KFC, whatever it is, um, yes, it kind of makes me wonder if CPKCS, whatever the name is, We'll do yep. actual heritage units like DNH, NDM, KCS, like the old KCS scheme. That is yeah, what I Yo, really hope so. All right, Rock Island. Next up, we got Iowa. This one is mid. What? Yes. It's good, but it's know. not. I bad. like Rock Island. I would say base at least because Rock Island. Yeah, I'd exactly. Say Rock the Island scheme is cute. pretty good. It fits well in the. Gym, I like though. the. I, I so I really. I personally really, really, really like the Rock Island scheme. It's a base railroad. And it's got a really nice paint scheme. Uh, but I, I don't know much about the, what, was this an Iowa Interstate locomotive, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know much right, about the Iowa Interstate. I'd say it's, it's an all right. It's a it's a pretty damn good paint scheme, but it's a Chivo. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, that's why it's not. Uh, I'd say all right. Maybe yeah, just because it's Rock Island, I'll put it up here. This is NS8099. Yeah, it looks everybody awesome. knows it. It just it isn't even fell over. We're we're throwing rocks at this one tonight. I'd say it's a tier for me. I this unit keeps damn slipping away from me, man. This unit keeps slipping away. So what do we say base? I would say either say base so. or yacht. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> it's based on a hit a rock. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson the rock. is rapidly approaching your location. Popsicle. All right, NS 80, uh, interstate. This one, uh, I kind of trash talked it in my uh, hair units video about Norfolk Southern. So, why? I have a fun fact for any of my Ontario fans watching this, but this thing came on Canadian Pacific, and yep. a lot of Ontario yeah. Rail fans oh, went boy. Uh, crazy over it. <laughs> yep, I remember. That. I, think. I swear, Farmers. you you Canadian Rail fans are something else. You guys are crazy. Yeah, You're tweaking exactly. Work. <laughs> you, me and Winnipeg both are pretty crazy then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, the next heritage units, um, I've seen, technically it's one of four heritage units that Metro North has, but the thing that's interesting about that is that Connecticut Department of Transportation technically purchased those four Genesis units and painted them in the New Haven McGinnis scheme. And even nice. though it's awesome that they probably had one of the first most well-known heritage units of the bunch, the three lines still looks kind of all right when you compare that to other McGinnis schemes at the time. So it yeah. has a lot of cool history, but because it's just three lines, I'm going to say all right. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I, think it's I all like right. Mc, uh, was it McGinnis or just Mc, Guinness? Mc, I think McGinnis. Oh, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of the <laughs> beer. Right, I'd I guess. say all right fits. I have yeah. weird nostalgia for it since, well, this engine did appear frequently in trains for a while. All right, let's see. Next up, we got. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, like the main central. Uh, I think it's. I think it's based. It's based. It's, it's, based. Based. it's a little known. It's, a, it's in the cowl unit yeah. production. It's based. Yeah. I'd yeah, I'm gonna put. Good. You know, I'm putting like up here. Right up, right up there. Oh, I forgot to introduce it. This is CMQ ninety seventeen. Uh, next one is a Amtrak carriage unit, which I have no idea which number it is. Uh, probably base because think, base one. One sixty. So one sixty. And one fifty six, technically, if we're gonna count that. Right, because right. Some of the some of these were part. made. Like, some of them got re like six. Like some of the older ones got replaced with new ones because they ran the semi trucks. Like based and all right fits. <laughs> Yeah, I I, yes, I, don't, I like phase good. one, probably my personal favorite. But uh, yeah, let's put it in all right. Uh, there, all right. Yeah, I'm back, guys. Sorry, my computer had a seizure. Okay, so next <laughs> one is Amtrak That's... 150 something. That's phase, yeah, phase three. Four. I think it's all right. 
Yeah, what do you yeah. guys think? I'm going to be... It was yeah, too. I, think I like how that. nostalgic it feels. It's just something about that pain scene that's very nostalgic. Yeah. Same with, like, yeah. my 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 YN1 lovers out there. I also Indeed. will give 164 credit. Without the 1971-2011 beside the Amtrak logo, it actually is a f actual faithful recreation without that 40th anniversary stuff on it. Empire Phase 3, what do you guys think? I'm going to say all right to mid, just oh, because I see Yeah. This is cool. Where For the... some reason, they painted all the P-32s on the Empire service into this modified oh, Phase 3 livery instead of just an upgraded Phase 5. I mean, I don't mind it, but eventually I kind of got used to it and didn't really see it as heritage so much if it applies to every oh, no. single engine. Midnight. Midnight blue. Pinky. I don't, I don't, it's just mid. It's yeah, yeah, literally, not much <laughs> literally it's midnight. Literally just yeah, mid. It's like, it, it exists. There's not much to the scheme, so yeah, I think mid. And again, it's not really heritage per se. It's not yeah. representing a previous yeah, livery. Kind of like, I like the metal one. Uh, what does it want? Phase two. Weird. Phase two heritage. I love phase two. I love yeah. phase two. I think it's phase. All right to mid. Kind of overshadowed by phase three. But yeah, I, yeah, think I think all right it's a nice probably scheme, is a... I think All Right is a fitting place for that. I'm actually thinking of making a video talking about what happened to the 40th anniversary heritage units. Make a Thunderbolt style video, the 66, 15 years later. There's not much information on the accident though. I just know it <laughs> yeah, is a semi truck. Yeah. Probably. I, CSX 1869, how are you? This man's yeah. been to Mexico. Damn. Good thing it didn't crash. I think it's they pretty much did a damn good job and I remember hearing word that they actually got the proper colors to like give it a more accurate CNO representation yeah, yeah. so I do think it goes in the base category yeah yeah it would be CNO asking is for base, way too much base dust and and shout out to my New York Central Heritage Unit lovers uh they got the font right Me. on this one yeah. yeah arguably the best of the CSX Heritage yeah. Units agreed all right oh Oh boy, we're oh, gonna do it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna take okay. calm down. As someone that has that once lived near the yard that this operate at, I don't like it, but I also don't hate it. Granted, I do understand Winnipeg's points of the scheme being butchered. Yeah, no, they messed it up. The yeah. funny thing was, there were rumors going around in 2020 that CN was gonna do more. But CN actually did confirm that they weren't doing any more units, and people were saying that because of, the, of like, there was a whole leak regarding, like, photos taken inside the paint shop, that CN just dropped the whole program afterward. I feel like Dookie is a bit of a... or mid, hey, probably. Mid, Honestly, at least, because I still yeah. feel it's underrated and was kind of like a beacon of hope. Same yeah. thing with the next one. I... I yeah, I, I'm, I'll say mid this time, because, like, I like Maple Leaf Green, but they uh, kind of they. I agree. The theme isn't accurate, but again, it's more of a heritage unit on a switcher on a class one. That's something you rarely see. Yeah, that's fair. The Death Star GP40. The engine sucks. The slug is cool. <laughs> so I do think it goes in Dookie. <laughs> okay, straight, straight up Dookie. Anyways, next. Oh my gosh, you got B. BC Rail. BC Rail. Yes, Alright. Yes, the CN unit. Yacht. It's going Yacht, bro. Okay, I, I think love it's, BC Rail. It's all, I feel like it goes in alright. What? Put that it, in as it, it lacks. Real. It lacks rock lights. It's not a true oh, BC yeah, Rail yeah, unit. It true, lacks yeah. the funny it's rock true. lights that Beakley units have. And the funny yeah. horn, too. Right. I mean, it would have been stolen. A5H. <laughs> We're it, ranking paint schemes, not ditch lights. Yeah, exactly. Ditch Put that thing in S tier. It should have an original cowl unit. Production. Horn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm putting it right up. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I will admit, yeah. it's definitely the more out there compared to the rest of the heritage units. So yeah, uh, I, I wish it was two tone green, but whatever, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, the uh, 3115 is definitely yeah. It's all right, big. next what is, is what is this? OJ Simpson. I say it goes in base. I yeah. For, I've seen that a lot while rail fanning. So yeah. And it isn't as butchered. Main scheme. It isn't as yeah, butchered. Yeah, is pretty cool. Yeah. Where did history go? History, you're still here? No, he left. No, he left. What the? <laughs> let me let me check messages. See if he. I'm still waiting for uh, Milwaukee Road, man. Yeah, exactly. Up. Where did? 
Here we go. All right. Eighty-nine fifty-two. Next up, the Gronk. We got the Gronk. The Gronk. It's, it's because the railroad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Grand Trunk Western. Yeah. I yeah. I the colors do feel a bit off, but the fact that they chose to do an M2 with this keeps it the tradition of like Grand Trunk Western being mostly EMD. I say right but I do EMD. think. Okay, fair point. The Illinois Central. This is yeah, thirty oh eight Illinois Central. It is ninety five percent perfect. I'll give you that. Yeah. It's yeah. a simple livery, but yeah. they still screwed it up slightly. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah. The yeah. side numbers are way too high for that. Hello. Hey. Oh, welcome he's to the party. What the Hello. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Yo. It's yeah, it's the Southern Plains, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> halfway through. Hey, wait, Southern Plains. Say 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 the funny line. Say the say the railroad. What? Oh. <laughs> the Milwaukee. Oh, wait. Road. Oh, hold on. The Milwaukee Road. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, you want to okay. do an introduction to the audience? What me? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I ain't got. I mean, hi, I'm Southern Plains Real Fan. I, I ain't got too much to say. Maybe a few of y'all heard of my channel. I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> we'll you got a up. great voice, guys. Yeah. Oh, this guy's voice. Oh, thank so, you. This, no problem. Okay, so this unit here, I've seen on Facebook, a lot of people hate this unit. I don't know why. It, Dookie, it looks okay. Put it in Dookie. No question. So why? Put it why? in Dookie. What, 30, 60, yeah, no, no, yeah. it's Dookie. There's no uh -uh. argument in that. Put it in... Yeah, Dookie, it's a Jeebo. Yeah. And the, <laughs> like, them dams. I get, but they were, again, like, it seems like there was a attempt to put on the Y cab, but, like, I can imagine yeah, like, a $5 plastic toy train having this paint scheme. Yeah, it, it looks like an art. The, uh, uh, the F45 scheme, but then they hit the Fent cart and they just <laughs> messed it up. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Right, what's all this then? Ooh. All right, next up, we got, oh my Ooh. lord. Mega Baseball base. recreation. I Mega think Chad. it deserves to go in Gat. Yeah, absolutely. Right up what? The Heritage unit definitely based. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's like the definition of a Heritage unit. Yeah. Literally, yeah. You know, that, I like this how... This is spot on. This is yeah. how they look when they were new, like the SD40s yeah. and SD35s and stuff. And years before the CP Heritage units, too. Yeah, this was like 2000 they painted it. Can we get an S? Can we get a barn in this color now? <laughs> uh, I like how the I like how the top tier motors have been Giat or like all Canadian so far. It's just yeah, three. Yeah, how American long until that changes? Until we have an American road on there? We're gonna get an F40 in there. Oh, already. we're changing that right yeah. now. 18. No, well, it's, it's, it's a Duke. On, I got a lot of stuff CXS. On behalf of CSX, I solely apologize for the font. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Send the c sex Heritage unit down in Dookie. That one sucks. Yeah, this one, yeah, kind of they, messed, they messed the central up. Rodney paint is promising, but they messed up the lettering. All right, yeah. Yeah. we have- On the, the other end. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That, that thing is beautiful. Those okay, things are beautiful. Oh, Put God. that one in base. Although. No. Bro. No. Although. Okay, okay, let's hold on. Let's, let's hear him out. Southern, what do you think that? Yeah, let him cook, let him cook. The letter, the lettering's wrong. It's CSX, not BNO, and yeah. BNO never had those engines. I don't know. It, I, it's just not one of my favorites. For an OCS uh, train, kind of it's kind of how, like <laughs> it's kind of like how NS took the livery from the Southern uh, green and then turned it black and then put the horse head on the front for their OCS train when they had the F nines. Oh yeah, I forgot People, those. Yeah, but those are those are F nines. Those are cool. <laughs> I personally, I put it in Giat, but I can see uh, why it could be based because you know it's not like well, actual. You're, I think time. I think your reason also solidifies its spot in Giat because I've never had anything to do with them. I will yeah, no, say I... I like what they were going mm. for. I only have yeah. one issue: the number. Like, yeah. like on the side, it's just CSX one. Why not just keep a number? Why do you have to put the yeah, initials? Yeah, like 99, uh, whatever. That's one of my gripes, too. It's just, yeah. I don't really know that looks. Yeah, reporting, also, reporting marks aren't even required by the FRA. They didn't have to do that. Yeah. Half the time, they don't have the marker lights on. You have to be very lucky to catch them on. Technically, CSX has done that before. I think there are like two or three other engines that are simply numbered 
one, namely the AC forty fours, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And because of that, they wouldn't yeah. be eligible for um, a little known series that I do, known as Alpha Omega, where I go over the lowest and highest numbered engines on a roster. If you haven't seen it already, check it out because it's yeah. He, he does. Uh... He mentions ninety two eighty. I think this is a solid yacht, and I remember when it came out, it was like the the word of the town. Everybody was talking about this. Oh yeah. And, yeah. The best OCS train for now. Anyway, All right, what's next? This is purple, is purple this? Jeevo, the, the Jeevo 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 uh, Atlantic coastline, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, are base. Mm, based. So based. Based. That one's been long anticipated. It's like ninety-eight percent perfect. So I'm gonna put it in base, also because purple, purple is a funny base. color, and uh, yeah. the Jeevo, Jeevo behind the slaughter. Or any of my. <laughs> you know, since purple does so bad in the sun, I wonder if that thing's gonna fade to pieces in a few years. Oh, oh no. no. Next up, we got A1. Oh, no. The E unit better, think? but I do think it's a very good recreation for a modern model. Yeah, yeah. It really showcases how Amtrak's come far as a passer rail corporation despite the delays. So I do yeah, think. The, the amount of detail Amtrak puts into their heritage units is just crazy. I'll put it up here because it's the day one scheme, but, you know, Seaman Charger. NJ Transit time, boys. This is Pen yeah. This is Penzi. Penzi fan. What do you think? Ooh. I actually feel yeah, this is really this is your forte. Yeah. I'm actually pretty um disappointed about this entry, not because uh -huh. it's all right or kind of mid, because I just realized a few days ago, as we're recording this, I just uploaded the NJT iceberg, and I didn't mention this unit once. <laughs> so Damn. Travesty. Okay. <laughs> It's nice that they have disco stripes, but then again, they already have a bunch of other engines that are in disco stripes, so maybe I just didn't pick it up as a heritage unit all, all that much, and I just forgot to mention yeah. it in and the all... iceberg, so... I would say alright overall, but I just feel bad that I forgot to mention it in the NJT iceberg. Alright, yeah, it's alright. Next up, we got CP... It, it's the, the same letter. situation as the... As the it's the same situation as the uh, block lettering AC. Yeah, this is like... Got. yeah, Just cut... This is like copy my homework, but change it a little. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's for the same railroad, so... I think I like the script letter a little better, so I'll put this in... What do you say? All right? Yeah. Ace? Yeah. Maybe all right. I'll write up here all right. Nah, because it's it's ninety it's like 99% the same. I think if you're looking to dock it a little bit, it should go in based. Yeah. He I, makes a fair argument. Touche. Fair point. Right in the middle. Boom. There we go. And I'm not gonna say it. I'll be I'll be nice. <laughs> oh, no. mid. Eh, I don't really remember that. So yeah, mid. The J yeah. moment. I mean, I like the Ann Arbor. There we go, mid. Sorry guys. All right, Southern Sorry, Plains. What's up? It's time for you, the Katie. Mm. UP 1988, the Kathy. I think it should go in all right because number one, it's it's a. It's not a true rendition of the Katie's paint scheme. And yeah. number two, it's uh, what am I thinking? I don't know. It's just it's just not it's not a true heritage unit. It's more like a tribute unit since it's not a tried and true rendition of the Katie. It's still cool, but it's not yeah. I don't think it's as good as it could be. Yeah, I'll go with alright. Yep. I'll settle with him on that. My favorite part Not about here. this unit is I like the stripes. I kind of like the different shades of red on it. Yeah. I think they also highlighted the red for the Texas Special, which, in my opinion, was probably one of the greatest contributions of the MKT, especially through the representation of the Texas Special so many times in the Isle of Toy Train series. I overall oh, fun think fact, it's this pretty came good. To Canada one time. Yeah. Really? Really? One my so too. did another Heritage unit in another one. Spoiler. All right, the real no, grand. There's a, a video of a dude foaming over this thing, and it's legendary. Yeah, I'll see if yes. I can put that in. I'll put it in if I can find it. I, I personally, uh, I've seen this unit when I was out uh, doing training uh, here at good old Fort Carson, Colorado. Uh, I've seen this unit when I was driving down the road in a tank. I look over to my left because we were next to a pair of train tracks. It was sitting in the yard here at Fort Carson, just chilling. Nice. I didn't get a photo of it, but. Cool. Yeah, uh, I I love it. Rio Grande's one of my favorite railroads. It's just super cool. Base? So yeah, Is I put it, it in base. It looks yeah, good. Base. All right, there we go. Overall, yeah. technically the present day incarnation of the Union Pacific because basically, when SP merged with UP, SP took over UP but assumed their corporate identity. And when Rio Grande merged with SP, 
Rio Grande took over the corporate identity of SP. So technically, mm -hmm. through that family tree, the present-day Union Pacific is really the Rio Grande. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> so Rio, Damn, like Rio okay. Grande wearing on a mask. Yeah, exactly. So it was yeah. Rio Grande the whole time. So, uh, and that's the one engine that shows present-day Rio Grande. So Union I would say Pacific, based are better. Could you imagine if every unit on like Union Pacific's roster was painted like that? Oh, dude, that'd be, that would be cool. cool. That'd be but so it would give the paint. Money, but... It would give the paint shop head like the I don't know the paint shop employees like I don't know. They would need an exorcism every time they have to paint a unit up like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the amount of masking is insane. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah no. Much. The stripes are cool, but they take like probably take years to do. <laughs> so you're telling me that every single UP motor is a UP heritage unit and UP 4014 is actually Rio Grande 4014. This is insane news, <laughs> Yeah, guys. technically. Oh, it's, a whole, it's a whole railroad, 8,000 heritage units. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will lead us down a rabbit hole, won't it? Yeah, exactly. UP lore. The Southern Pacific Heritage Unit, I yeah. first saw Put it in Gyat. It's Gyat, bro. That is like great. It? Yep. It's, it's great. They like yep. scheme. I've Beautiful. Had, I've had childhood nostalgia for that unit. I never it's, saw it, that, but it looks it great. Video of it? Easily, that and the Rio Grande are my two favorites on the UP system. Uh, what is Western Pacific, 1983? All right, the color right. scheme's a little whack. Yeah. It's, the, the, the off, the, it's just like, so, the cab's like somewhere between green and gray. It just doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, it's like Although it did appear in it's some B footage of Top Gear a while ago. I think it was uh, the Norfolk Southern's Conrail Her Heritage Unit made an appearance in uh, Stranger Things. My god, I oh, know really? about that yeah. one. Yeah, 80, 80, 90, yeah. I, I think I, I might have an image of it on my computer. Like, I'll the send Conrail. it in the group chat, like, if I could find it. But I do think the it does Conrail fit in so base. Bad, baby. Although, Gino's that unit really suffered a lot. What was it getting vandalized? Before? Yeah, 1903, it got vandalized and was patched over, I think. Nice. <laughs> Although 1996, if I remember correctly, I think it has a broken crankshaft. Oh, yeah, this one just shoot itself like the other day. Uh, <laughs> I think I remember hearing about I'll, that. I'll, I'll put the video up. It's on the uh, it's on some Instagram meme page. Shitty again, edits archive? Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. These aces are the older, I'm pretty sure they're the older Thundercat versions, so they're pretty old. These are older, yeah. older aces. These are some of the first ordered aces. Yeah, like the 2005 ones or whatever. The fact that most people here are older than like the first aces or Jeevos is something. Chicago and Northwestern. Um, it's all right, but why was this not in that 40? I'd say we'll put it in one of the lower tiers just because that locomotive body style is kind of ugly. Uh, That's where, where it's were not we? bad, but oh, we it's okay. CNW. Oh, yeah. the 90, yeah, number nine, uh, this guy. What do you guys think? All right? Mm. Mid. Mid. All right or mid, I don't mid. know. Like, yeah. Just because, just like that body the locomotive's style. body style's ugly, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a nice scheme and everything. CW's cool, but, yeah, I, I'm not really a big fan. It just, it just doesn't guy. fit on that. It just yeah, doesn't work. Yeah. Metro North, another East Coast Penzi fan, railroad. Okay, to basically sum up the next two, both of them are all right, because the first one focuses on supposedly the original Metro North paint scheme, also known as the Beach Ball, which is the first one that they officially made their own paint scheme in like the mid to late 80s, which is pretty all right. That's also the first heritage unit they made. And the next one, Conrail 201, is also all right. Okay. Is that the Chicago, Burlington, North Quincy? Oh my goodness. This is 211 <laughs> metric, 211. Yeah. Yeah, oh, not, not the best. Penny yeah, exactly. And, and, again, at least, nice. and I do agree. At least it's not and it's an, that unit. All right, at least base because it's, it's an F forty heritage unit. Yeah, it, it, that's penny. fair. I do think. Yeah, the CB and Q paint scheme actually it goes pretty well with that body style. Although I do yeah. wish that the underframe was mostly silver. I mean, it's probably just dirty. More than likely. Yeah. Mopac. 1982. Mm -hmm. what that was fun. That's also on your Pacific. Pack. Sean B. All right, Pacific. I think it's yeah. based. I, mean, I think it'd go based. Like the, the, the color palette's real nice. Also, yeah, yeah I, I, like, I really like this unit. This unit came to like Southern average... Ontario during the pandemic. Oh, 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 stop it. Oh, for, stop anyone, for anyone in the 
Hey, for anyone in the Kansas City or uh, St. Joseph area, 1982 is currently stuck on local freights right now. It's running between the two cities. Imagine being a local. I like the paint scheme on this one. It's kind of like that paint scheme that your 40-year-old mom would be like, Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to put a base. It's base. Yeah, but one... But don't don't change its it, don't change its tier. But my one qualm is that the eagle is just a bit big on the yeah. side. Other than that, it's great. Yeah. All right, guys. Next oh. up, on three. Oh, Southern Plains. You gotta one, say it. You gotta say it. Two, the Milwaukee the Road. Milwaukee Road. The Milwaukee Road. The Milwaukee Road. <laughs> the Milwaukee Road. <laughs> no, that kind of works. This going by is not making this possible, oh. but oh. S tier. The Milwaukee Road. Yeah, there's a video. There's a video of this yeah. thing with one of my favorite horns of all time, the M5. It is just like ripping up Chicago. Honestly, I would put that in base because there's no other Milwaukee Road heritage units. That's the only one. Yeah. For yeah. Now. Right now there is. Yeah. For now. Right up, yeah. Road. So there's gonna be a I bunch so. of Milwaukee Road comments in the in the in the comments of this video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Milwaukee Road. I have to count them up. This right, is sus. That's New York, Susquehanna, and Western. Yeah. It's all right. The sussy. It's very What's gray. This road. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? All mm -hmm. right. It's all right. Yeah, I, I don't say, have much to honestly, say. is it like a throwback scheme, like Amtrak, or, or what? It is. Yeah, it's like it was on some old units, and they put it on this SD40. I, yeah, mid. I mean, it's just gray. I mean, yeah, but, yeah, it's gray with stripe. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. I mean, you can't really taste. Uh, sorry. You can't really say too much about it. Taste. It's just, taste. Are you <laughs> hungry for a New York Susquehanna <laughs> G40? I am. I love New York Susquehanna. Okay, I'm going to next engine, please. You'll never be iron deficient again. I'm going to get memed on for SD40s now. Thanks, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bookity Rail Fan eats SD40s. <laughs> All right. Um, What is this? New NJ. Dot. Since I appear to be the unofficial NJT or Northeast region guy, I'm just going to sum up the next four. Yeah, base, right. all right. Base, base. Erie Lackawanna is all right. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it in person too much, but I feel they should have done separate ones for Erie and Lackawanna, although EL is pretty iconic in itself. NJ Dot is a pretty nice scheme. You don't see that shade of blue mixed with silver too often, and it's a little known scheme as well, right in between NJ Dot or Conrail, essentially, and NJT itself. CNJ is iconic in itself, hence why it's also based, and Hensi Heritage Unit based. NC Fan 19, need I say more? I love that in the yeah, GP40s, dude. they have like pretty damn good uh, horns and bells. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. another thing too with the two GP40s that they made heritage units. Not only were they painted as heritage units, but they were also painted into a paint scheme that they originally wore at one point. 4109 was originally a CNJ unit, and 4101 was originally given that um, NJ dot livery, and both of them were also given era accurate horns. I don't know if that's the case for 4109, yeah. but that's, I know yeah. 4101 yeah, got a 1970s accurate horn. Yeah, I really like this 4109. I want to put that right up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it up here. And then the Pennsylvania one, he said, put in base. I'd have to agree. I like I like the Tuscan red paint scheme that the Pensy had. Very yeah, it's very, very, well, that engine's very reminiscent of the GG once, too, which is cool. Yeah. Just because it's brown doesn't mean it goes in dookie. All right, listen, guys, I'm going to have to take the initiative on this one. The Chessie unit is garbage. I'm putting it. I do not like it. The more that it's been out, it's it's just <laughs> I do not like it. If it, they paint, it's, it's one of these things where if they paint it. I beg to differ. Got. But I don't know. It just I hear you guys out. But personally, for me, as the CSX man, it just it could have been done so much better. It could have been done so much exactly. better. Exactly. Uh, I, 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 I take I like the CSX heritage units. I think it's a cool concept what they're doing. I do, too. I love every rep them. Besides, like maybe just the chessy, but. Still wondering but, what um, the history is right now. He said he'll be back. He's, his phone's trying. Oh, it's ringing. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it's been like an hour. I think it should go in mid because it's a yeah. it's a unique concept yeah. concept, and we've really wanted it. CSX heritage units for a long time, but it just didn't live up to the hype. Yeah, no, they they uh, especially the Chessy one. They kind of just it sucks. Know, whiffed it. They 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 I hate how fully. proportionally off it is. Yeah, so no, I do feel like yeah. it does deserve to go in Dookie. Yeah, <laughs> CSX sets. 1976 has entered the chat. Yeah, I kid exactly. you not. We'll get to I that in a bit.
Since I'm the LNN man and I'm also the CSO. Oh, yeah, man, right. Um, what do you think? Let him take the 50, stage. 1850 is my all time favorite, but a lot of people don't like this one because it's just mid. Personally, for me, it's an S tier. But for, I'm going to let you guys take the stage because, you know, it's not really that interesting. And I can see why. The only good part about it is maybe the rear. Why in the rear? Yeah, it, it is just like gray. <laughs> yeah, why in 1.5? It would have been better. I'll say all right. <clears throat> I'd say all right. Yeah, like I'm gonna come to a middle ground with you guys. It's all right. Yeah, it's, it's not, not all yeah, right. But it's at least they got the lettering right. right. At least they got the font right, and it it does look all right, I guess. It's yeah. Iconic in itself. I've heard a lot of people yeah. say because of its design, it looks it reminds them of Wyan too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, New York Central. Whatever one you're going to put it at, you have to knock it down a peg because it's a wrap, not paint. Metro North is primarily made up of New Haven and New York Central. So when Metro North had the four New Haven units, everyone was wondering, is there going to be a New York Central unit next? And they've been wondering that for 20 years. And now we finally have a New York Central Heritage unit. So put that right up in S tier. I'm a, yeah, this is yachts because I love the Central. Richard for the Central! Uh, anyway. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, Rock Island. Rock Island. Dookie. Yeah, it doesn't even resemble Rock Island aside from the color. Uh, yeah. It's like the red scheme from like the 70s of Rock Island. One, but eh. Well, Interstate did it best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't even look like a Rock Island Heritage unit. It just looks Especially like a red of the yellow. Unit. Yeah, I'll put this one Especially at like... Especially because the yellow roof. It's like, it's like someone told them what the Red Rockets looked like and they said, okay. The normal oh, my gosh. NW. Cargo moving people. I love Cargo. the NW. It's not right because it's just not a very exciting scheme. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how many blue railroads have there been over the I years? Probably way too many. B&O. Freaking so I'll, I'll put it in like all right, like right up here, all right. Yeah. How's that? Based railroad mid scheme, so it's all right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe it's like the end of base. Maybe. It's a base railroad. This is well, now we're on CXS, C CVS, to the Conrail. CVS Pharmacy. Put it in yeah. Dookie. I hate how I the logo's proportioned. Logo's yeah. too big. Yeah. yeah. I, I like, like that they did the quality Honest, logo, but yeah. they, they, they did too big. They yeah. don't goop. Honestly, the, the railroad market is kind of flooded with Conrail heritage units right now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like, there's so many. The Seaboard system. Seaboard system, 1982. Oh. I like this i do don't get it confused with the new one that just came out the uh yeah, family line i like that i, for Dude, oh, family I forgot to put that in you can pause it real quick and then add it in you know what let's do that dude okay <laughs> really quick while we're in this meeting or like little pause area whoa, bro, whoa, family whoa, lines whoa, goes hard whoa, 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 yeah, that whoa, was hey, 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 hey. i'm surprised Stop, it's a different shade of gray one compared to keyboard <laughs> <laughs> we need we need southern plains real <laughs> what what do you need Southern Plains Rail Fan ASMR. We oh, just need him this walky road. Oh. Was it 1970? Yeah, 1973. It should be. Just need to freaking make noises. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just... And 1970. Uh, wrong. Oh, that's cheesy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So. You know what I should do? I should go back through all my recordings and then just compile like an hour long video of like accidental lip smacks and stuff and then <laughs> yeah, exactly. million, bye -bye. million views right there. Look at that. Look at the I've Lionel seen, one. I've seen yeah, with uh, Legacy. Yeah. Anyway, well, I forgot where we were putting this, the Seaboard uh, System unit. So I'm going to put Seaboard System in, or at least personally, I'll put it in. Uh, put it in base. Yeah, well, it's. I'll put it like either I don't know. base or I'll put it I'd in say. Base. I'd say it goes with all right because it's kind of the same story as the L and N. It's just gray and yellow. Yeah, there's yeah. not much yeah. to uh, it aside from Seaboard System. But I will admit I will that it looks more proportionally better than the Conrail one. Yeah. Yes, they did nail they did nail the livery. That's what that's what I should make you say. I should make you say the Louisville and Nashville. The Louisville and Nashville. Whoa, he's gonna talk to he's, I don't know. You know what I will say? <laughs> now offering cameos. People need to start doing videos on LNN, man. Like the LNN does not get enough love, I'm telling you guys. It is it's insane. The L and M lore went hard, dude. I'm telling you. Like it was, they and were literally. And Winnipeg is. Yeah, Winnipeg died. Give him a sec. Pants again. Like, you back? Hello? Oh my gosh, Winnipeg Wi-Fi is just absolute bonkers right now. Getting dogged on by Winnipeg Wi-Fi. Lord. 
Frenzy Fan! Frenzy Fan, you're on mute. Let him speak. Louisville, Nashville. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank he you. Was, he was listening to me lore oh. dump and freak out about the big Emmas. <laughs> All right, the uh, what's next? Pepsi scheme. Amtrak Pepsi can. What do you got? Pretty good. Base. I think oh it was God. in base. base. I like Pepsi can. Base. I love the Pepsi. I, can. I'd say base. I mean, it's it's a it's as true of a heritage scheme as you can get. I feel that should have been the official phase three. Uh, case okay, L. Uh, no, I was about to say L. Wow, I'm tired. Yeah, uh, Norfolk, North Norfolk, Norfolk, Norfolk Southern. Southern. That was that was yeah, Carolina Norfolk Coast. Southern before Norfolk Southern existed because yeah, that was, was the, the Norfolk North Southern short line. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> the superior yeah. Norfolk Southern. The yeah, Norfolk exactly. Southern or Norfolk Southern. So there's this guy named Alex Stansberry. I, ho I hope the guy he's watching this video. Um, he So whenever I watch his reactions to my videos, he keeps saying I keep saying Norfolk Southern wrong. Is it Norfolk? Is it Norfolk? Like what? what, what am Norfolk. I Norfolk. Norfolk Southern. Norfolk. 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 North fuck. Yeah, the, the L is, the L is, <laughs> like, uh, it's weird. It's almost like half pronounced. Oh, uh, that's weird. What do you guys think? Pretty basic? Uh, I, I put it in base. They did a pretty yeah. good job, so. Yeah. Yeah. Both of those are Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of in the same boat of, a uh, Rock Island Rail. This is Florida Central, I think. Base. Base, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Definitely. Obviously. Yeah. It's a pretty hot yeah, scene. Yeah, exactly. We'll put it right up here. Oh, yeah, base. Okay, it's base. Very up there. Yeah. Metro, the, the, uh, the Max. Max. 70 Max. Max. Yeah. Bro, That's got. That's got. Those 70 Max not. look good anywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I like these guys. I know a lot of foamers. Someone's like, going to make, a, yeah, it's gonna like make a certain joke that I made two years ago. I don't want to say it because... Did you oh. predict... You predict it? Is that what you're saying? We're hoping an old scars I, here. I heard we've heard about this <laughs> yeah. in 2019. Think back to I don't know when I made the first 10 words or less video. If anyone remembers that, every EMD locomotive. I've seen it. Yeah. After this, we're gonna be like, oh. Pen <laughs> Pansy it's also an MJT iceberg entry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Metro iceberg coming soon. Predicting it. <laughs> I need a. Uh, I might, you know what? After deployment, me. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. After deployment. First video is either gonna be engines of CSX SD40 or a CSX iceberg. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some Ooh. really. really there were never all any right. GP40s that were in that livery, but it's pretty well painted. So I'm gonna say all right. Yeah. Pay for effort. I. So I do feel yeah. like all right's a fitting to here. New York Central. Oh God. my God. 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 <laughs> Put it in the out. Put in the out. Put in the out. They did right so up. good you know with this one. They did so good. Put it right I've up here. This one yeah, too. that one's they did oh, that one's awesome. I caught that. I caught that one leading the. Uh, let's see, a cross country intermodal on the trains gone. It's on one of my Gales, yeah. one of my Galesburg videos. Oh my gosh, I love those videos. Today we're in Galesburg, Illinois. I love that. <laughs> Hell yeah. When everyone hears them say two things, Galesburg, and then the Milwaukee Road, everybody goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all go bananas. We all go wild. The central of Georgia. Galesburg, Illinois. That's a lot of NS Heritage units. Yeah, we so got, I got, I got all the saving. Of them. <laughs> Georgia Heritage Where would unit. you guys put this? I'm put, I'd put it in high-based, at least. High-based. Yeah. Uh, yeah. High-based. Also, Ray it's pretty. the horn for this unit is pretty damn good. Pennsylvania oh, your best year. Okay, we got eighty-one hundred two. Yeah, if I if I put this yeah. anywhere below base, uh, Thunderbolt would kill me. Just put it in. Thunderbolt. Put Washington. it in Yacht to make him yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yacht, just for you, so Thunderbolt one thousand. Yeah. There you go. And Penzi fan. We'd be flamed by Rodney supporters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the hey, we're sending you guys to do up higher too. Both of them are in yacht. The the ten stripes are honestly timeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't deny that that is pretty a damn good job for most of these. The Lehigh Valley. Yeah, Speaking of bang up jobs, uh, this one yeah. had a controversy when it first came out. If you guys know what that, yeah, was. someone watched my video. Yeah. I've heard about it, but I, yeah. I've heard about it, but I don't know the full story. Um, it came out shopped with a rather uh, inauthentic uh, paint uh, variation. 
And then mm -hmm. afterwards, like, it was immediately sh put back into the paint shops and given a more accurate rendition of the Lehigh Valley. Lehigh Valley was the first heritage unit I ever caught. It came came through on a northbound on the Red Rock subdivision at, like, 11 p.m. And I was oh, very God. new to real fin, and I thought I could get a night photo of that thing at track speed. And I got a nice red <laughs> streak yeah. against it. <laughs> Oh geez, what is with all these red and blue railroads, man? It's you have another red one. And which green. side do you <laughs> shoot? Which side are you on? Red or blue? The original. Eat both the pills. Yeah, exactly. TF2. <laughs> you take the red pill. You TF2. Take the it doesn't beat the standard cab. Yeah. I, yeah. I yeah, will like, say this. At least original NS was managed better than what NS is now. At least original oh, yeah, NS didn't run a didn't run a vinyl chloride train to a town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're comparing the short line with a class one, so. Yeah. Uh, what is this? I was about to say Mon uh, I've always said Mon Mon Monongahela. Monongahela. I always so pronounce I've... this Monongahela. It's Monongahela. I've always said the Mahongadonga. Like, I don't care. <laughs> the Monongahonga <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hongla Gongla. one with the giant M. <laughs> So, yeah, Where's I do you think the Mahonga Hongla Gongla Bongla Hongla Hongla Bongos deserves to go in all right. And it's also the first yeah. Asher Jujutsu I'm ever seeing. I'll put it like higher up in all right. A little, I guess, yeah. yeah, I'll put all it right. there. I've awesome never seen that thing in Bensonville Yard when I was in Chicago, and that was the only oh, yeah, time right. I saw it. Yeah, I'll, if red I'll lines do go in Yacht, I'm shaving a street cat. <laughs> you like jazz or you like bees? Well, here you go. Here's the Reading Hair. Yeah, you like uh, bee movie. Bees are cool. Bee movie unit. Bee for bee movie. Bee for bees. Okay. Barry B. Benson. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put it up. Bee line for the bees. Put, put it up. You got for a street. Get shaved. I yeah, like. I like. It. It's a good looking unit. I'll it give looks it that. great. Wabash, Wabash. bro. I love Wabash. In the running general, general, follow the flag. Players. I love the Wabash. Come on, that's yeah. a great. Piece yeah, that, yeah. Is, that goes in Giat. Wabash is awesome. Another Giat. Love the scheme on that, and it translates well. Yeah, yeah like definitely. every single oh, well. other NS Heritage unit or Jersey Central. It's right. Or with my fourteen-year-old. It ain't too exciting. Okay, I will yeah. say this: a funny story. I caught this heritage unit in South Ontario in 2018, and I called this thing the Central of Georgia Heritage Unit. What? Oh, bruh. I was too excited, okay? You guys, are all credits. <laughs> it's not. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Like, high, yeah, all it's right. Not, yeah. It's one of those, like, but how long, okay, kind of thing. But how long until that unit falls off into the water? Like, the, the, all the small detail in, like, the uh, New Jersey Central. What livery on the side and the number, it's all fading off. That nice. is a lot of Hopefully these. Hopefully, NS at least sends that to get repainted soon. Yeah, they have. Oh, they will sometime. Yeah, they've been repainting them, but very slowly. You know which one does need to be repainted? Penn Central. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, we my gosh. No, no, we it's more authentic. It's more authentic that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah let it rot. <laughs> like, Norfolk Southern Saza Heritage Unit. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> One of my, I will say this. One of my friends called this the glow worm heritage unit because it looks like a glow. <laughs> it looks like a glow. It's painted like a glow stick. Yeah, it is. Bro's got that yeah. maple maple leaf green paint scheme sh going on. He's trying yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. Cop I will say it's all right. I'll give it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it in it's all right. It's nice. It's, 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 like a little, all, it's a meme one. Right. The Shrek, the Zaza right heritage unit. unit. I think yeah. I think it's yeah. either high all right or low based. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. I'd I'd say, yeah, right here. Hi, hi, all right. Hi, all right. Hi. All right. Ben now Central, we have baby. The... You can count on us. 50 years of great road. Yeah. Ben Central, baby. Central you can count on us. There's no question. I mean, okay. I actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Penn Central is cool. Guys, it does. Was they were managed. It was a cool railroad. <laughs> I think it. I think it goes in gut because the the real Penn Central Heritage Unit has all the paint chipping off, and I think it's just authentic. Yeah, it matches what Penn Central yeah, no, was, was back yeah. then. If, if there's any yeah, NS, if there is any NS leadership watching this video, let that thing rot, please. Let it have the worst foul horn ever. Yeah, don't never never like send any of the traction motors to wheel true 
or anything. Just let it go. Also, yeah. for context, yeah, exactly. Alan Shaw's president. Really embody the spirit of Penn Central. Oh, right, okay. This one has been hiding. I hear that this one might be coming back soon. The uh, I think one. it is. It's coming that out. One's, yeah. That one's got. I mean, that that's just a nice oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> going to I want to do that so bad one day. Just walk into a McDonald's. Ah, it's coming out. <laughs> do I need to be reminded of that one Meat Canyon video with like, uh, was it Grimace? God. Oh. <laughs> I like the Lackawanna for their Steam roster. I never really pay attention to their diesels, but I'd say it's okay. If I look outside my barracks window <laughs> right now, I'm literally staring at Pike's Peak. Like, I'm right next to Cheyenne Mountain, and therefore, Pike's Peak. It's covered in snow right now, but very cool. That's cool. Where are you right now in the gulag? I'm not. I'm just <laughs> I have a. I have my own room. It's got a train set in it. Uh, everything's packed up right now because I'm deploying very soon, but yeah. You're going to take the walk it, to Poland. Yeah, I'm going to be walking to Poland, guys. So <laughs> I'm going to have to walk <laughs> nice. on, on the boulevard. Do you like that Florida man that tried to reach Cuba in a beach ball or whatever it was? That's literally going to be <laughs> Oh, God. I'm going to show up in Poland in, like, July and be like, hey, guys. <laughs> This is a great that, Conrail. Here we go. That deserves Conrail to go. Yeah, no further questions. Yeah, yeah, it has it's so much one childhood theory. nostalgia. It deserves it's to be a Yacht forever. They and nailed it, it with this movie. one. And it wasn't a movie. Don't forget. Stranger Things. Right. Strange it, Things. Strange Conrail. Stranger Songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the the heritage, bro, the Nickel Plate Heritage Unit, like, destroyed me. When I was at Fostoria, well, it was going to come down, but then it took a left turn, and then the, I was like, dude, what the hell? I like it. I like it. It's definitely... Uh, I think it could go in base just because it's not yeah. the most exciting scheme, yeah, but it's like cool. It. it translated well. Yeah. Like, I definitely think it so. did, I love yeah. The, the stripe work yeah. on is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I gotta hop, hop off of here, y'all. I gotta go cook me some dinner. Right. Right. Thanks for coming. Nice for right. joining well, us, well, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It was wonderful. Thanks for joining us. Oh, yeah. Peace. Yeah. Peace. All right, peace out. Subscribe to the Milwaukee Road, man. I love oh. your videos. <laughs> We're almost done this. Yeah, uh, here we go. I, most I feel there are too many stuff. numbers. It's the back that really gets it to me. I mean, I get the two different shades of blue. They're trying to be more accurate to be an O. Yeah. But the thing that kind of... I guess the thing that sticks out to me the most is that the top of the radiators is gray, but everything else is blue. The, the back of the engine... The back logo looks pretty good, but the back of the engine in general looks i feel the proportions are a bit off with that it's so, all right I, yeah i still so remember when, to, I made a, oh, when i made yeah. like a discussion video about that like i think a day after it was like leaked or revealed yeah i remember that yeah and then i remember i Everyone made my video on out. it so yeah the the next ones that are coming out are the pair marquette and the western maryland and i think that's it for now they still have a few more to do but that should be it for I'm now i'm still wondering how the katie one will turn out <laughs> Oh, and the, uh, I forgot, Clinchfield. Yeah, Clinchfield's been... Clinchfield's gonna be... Oh, yeah, I wonder if they'll just do the pure black. The Virginian. I saw this, Virginian. I saw this one in Anvil Yard. That's the only time I've seen it. Isn't that the most in inaccurate of the bunch? Because, like, the Virginian sort of flip-flopped with having different liveries for the locomotives. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. I like it, but it's just... I, I don't know. I like the logo on the front. That's a nice logo. What would you say then? I'd say I'd say all, all right. right. Yeah, I all right. Like all right. So yeah. An okay place yeah. to put it at. Not the best. Yeah, that's the thing. But it's not the worst. Yeah, exactly. Or it's kind of the least favorite amongst the Ansarity units, given the fact the rest of them are higher ranking. Yeah. Looking at you, Penn Central. What a great yeah, unit. Exactly. We're sort of almost done with the NS stuff, but we got yeah. the RTA Heritage yeah, unit. Like pretty faithful yeah. to what they used to look like. Yeah. I'm just sad it's not around anymore and that, that was only a wrap. Alright, well let's put this guy in Can I pick it up? Hello, there we go. I'll put it in base, right at the end of base. Yeah, it does, like, it. It does look good. it's nice. Okay, the next two I have this no idea. I don't really know much. Yeah, this I don't know what those is a Norfolk and Portsmouth, sorry, I don't know. Um belt line unit fifty two sixty. I'll put it like right at the end it of the nice. I guess. Yeah. I like how that. Oh, Maryland one. Midland 26. Florida, Florida Gators Heritage Unit. The Mets Heritage. Uh, this one's all right. I'll put it like right at the end of all right, too. 
Yeah. It's not bad. It's not great, but whatever. Next, we come to 1700. This is yeah, a, the, it's, it's it's one the same situation as 3084, but that's saying deserves to go in Giat. I mean, it does. Yeah, this is G definitely Giat yes. locomotive. Definitely. W Riz and I am Giat. glad that NS has kept that around. Yeah. Like, 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 even when they were purging. It. The, the S and SD stands for Skibbity. Definitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a brain rot now. Uh, 46. This one, on the other hand, oh my gosh. It I sucks with that to it. Yeah. Yeah. They I've actually been considering out. making a video on this engine for a while, but I'm not sure if someone else is going to cover it first because it's kind of well known, and I don't exactly know if it holds a title for the first heritage unit ever, essentially. Well, technically, but NJ Transit sort of did do heritage units with their GG1s and repainting them back into uh, their Pansy colors. Well, the same thing with Anti. Oh, yeah. So I guess right, technically right. those are heritage heard. units. Because I already have a whole bunch of my plate. <laughs> yeah, both of you at the of same time in the same video. Engines of Southern. I got it, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. I would say it goes... I'd say an alright. It's definitely Honestly, creative I'd say, approach. Like, I'd say base. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say right, right up. Like yeah, right yeah, up. I agree on that. Honestly, right, like yeah. right somewhere here in base. Because I like it. I really like this one. I do. I love the Southern paint scheme. Uh, it's a great paint scheme. The, I love yeah. the game. Why is, the I saw the in, again. why is the Guilford in there? Because it was painted Guilford. back this on the Pan Am apparently, unit. Apparently, someone, who, requ someone uh, requested uh, this in the main video. I, and I was like, okay. I, who did I like it. Eh, yep. All right. Somebody did it. I, I all right, right agree. Mid. I, I, didn't, yes, I don't recall I all right. that one. I mean, it's mm. yeah, mid. You can't right deny that the Guilford right. scheme is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I got, yeah, right there. All right, yeah, I'll do. The, oh. uh, I don't like this one. I don't. I don't like it, Dookie. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I okay, put this in. the next one. Phase five. Fifty. Yeah, that's just phase five. There's nothing really to work with there. Dookie. Dookie? Yep. yep. So we're in Green Day Dookie right here. Twenty fifth <laughs> anniversary units. Sucks. Pretty much. They're not even that cool. I remember hearing a rumor that BSF wasn't going to do full heritage units because they used COVID as an excuse. Oh, yet, come yeah. on. yet CN made a <laughs> made heritage units, which most of them suck, but during 2020. Yeah, exactly. In 2020. What's yeah. excuse? I mean these are these are pretty much on par with CSX's first attempt, which was the stickers. So They're just it's... lazy attempts. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think BN, BN did sticker units at one point. Like BN did? Yeah, they they did. Yeah, no, they're GP thirty eight, I think. Okay, the, yeah, so BNSF sticker units right there. First place, Dookie. This is just... Dookie, this is disgusting. Yep. Yeah, they didn't Why'd you put two CN100s there? This is... This is actually 3309 with oh, the Wafer, the wafer. logo. Yeah, wafer. yeah I... Oh. Um, uh, I don't know. All right. It's, I like it because I like the older CN logos, that, like that era but or whatever, it's, but... It's nothing more. The C6M yeah. already yeah. suck as it is, so... Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, guess so mid is the like, highest I would go. Yeah, Wait, first you said place C6M? mid. Yeah, yeah CN's been doing C6Ms M. for the last two years. Uh, and yeah. they suck. NAR Heritage Unit, that's all I ask on the C6M. Okay, CN100. Oh. They're GMOs, they're sticker units, they suck. Go, they <laughs> yeah, deserve exactly. to go with right Dookie. The yeah. Yeah, they are right bottom here. of the barrel. Lead, Put them I at the end of Dookie. Yeah, right there. They Get generally suck. And then now for our last contender, yeah. we have a history ended here. On, <laughs> on this list. Yeah, ended on a good line. Giat Family oh, line, oh. their newest heritage unit. I 19, like it. Was it 72, I think? 1972, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I love I, it. I, I, I would say it's pretty good. Yeah, Easily the best so far. Yeah, so, right. I would I say, say, say I would like it. I want to say based. I want to say based. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like kind of underrated as well. It features LNN, it features LNN guys. Oh, yeah, LNN. exactly. LNN, so LNN books based Metal Railroad. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'd, put it I'd base, say like mid based or something like that. I'd yeah. say. I'd say all right works, but I'm fine with base. I'd say either first place all right or last place base. Last place base could work. I'd say last yeah. place. Yeah. Based. I'd say and it makes a chart down. Yeah, and yeah, well, and they they nailed it with this uh, family lines paint on the back. It's pretty yeah, 
Yep. It's okay, guys, because we still have the Western Maryland and Fair Market coming and Clinchfield. Yeah, Everybody exactly. Can... Well, we don't know when this video will come out, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. I wish. Pull it all Hopefully, we'll be back when <laughs> the other two come out. We'll have to do this again and the extra two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, that is definitely that is definitely a video. Th that was definitely the video of all time. That was the was, video. I don't know. Yeah. The collab. Yeah, the collab. yeah exactly. We... I like to thank the Winnipeg Rail fan for allowing all of us to uh, join together to make this yes. possible. This was fun. Yeah, and, and I want to hope say, you, history uh, kidnapped us, and then we all kind of got together. Yeah. Can I get? I do want to say. Now? Howdy, this is the Winnipeg Rail fan, and thanks for watching. If you stuck around to the end, you are a trooper. This video is way too long. Ain't nobody got enough of an attention span to watch this all the way through. Trust me, I know. Seeing as this video was an hour, it took a while to edit. Like, we recorded this on St. Patrick's Day, and it's currently 11.30 on April 3rd. Wow. Ridiculous. Anyways, huge shout out to the dudes that helped me with this video. History for Everyone Productions, he pretty much got the whole group together. Penzifan19, huge shout out to him. Crazy to think I've known him for a few years now, actually. Definitely go check out his channel, he makes some great train documentaries. And it was awesome to meet the other guys for the first time, Cowl Unit Productions. It was an honor to meet the dude behind some fantastic train documentaries and some other stuff. I'm still salty about that ICSD 40 liter, bruh. Buccaneer rail fanning. Best of luck on your deployment in Poland, man. Can't wait for the next episode of Engines of CXS. And last, but nowhere near least, Southern Plains rail fan. Oh, I swear, this dude sounds like Matthew McConaughey if he made videos on BNSF in Galesburg, Illinois. Please support their channels. They all make fantastic train content you'll enjoy without a doubt. A lot more than this channel, but hey, hey, wait, wait, come back, come back! So with that being said, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the channel membership. I've got some pretty neat stuff planned for that in the future, so stay tuned. Anyways, this is the Winnipeg Rail Fan saying, Get your money up, not your funny up, my guy!